Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. It's January 22nd, and some of us are feeding dry pollen already. I'm going to see if I can show you on some of the cars. The, the pollen is already falling. Now, it's not a dirty car. This is all pine pollen. The bees don't prefer it. They will use it a little bit, but they, they don't go after it. Okay, as you can see, we have plenty of natural pollen out there. However, since bees don't really care for pine pollen, we feed them a pollen substitute. They are pulling in natural pollen from other sources, and I don't know where they're getting it from right now, but uh, pollen substitute, while not as good as real pollen, gets the job done. So I'm not gonna tell you what brand or who to get it from. Google it, there's plenty of people out there selling it. Uh, we'll say, if you're north of us, we're in agriculture zone 8B, I think. We're down on the Gulf Coast in Mississippi, so we're way south. So if you're uh, a little ways north of us or got a foot of snow on your boxes, don't follow my lead. Uh, you had to wait a little while, okay? <laughs> but probably in just a little over three weeks now, people will be starting to graft queens around here. And so we're just giving them a little bump, try to get them kicked off a little early. And some, you know, we're not the only ones, but um, that's where we're at right now. And so it's time to build your boxes. If you got boxes to build, spring's coming on. You better get on it. Also, I've had a few questions lately about what we do with our old wax. Do we keep it? Do we throw it away? Do we sell it? We don't sell it. We clean it up and keep it and reuse it. So there's Fort Knox. Let me come over here, I'll show you our wax cleaning station. Just a roaster oven. This is soft but not melted. This is trash that came out of that. Uh, here's a filter bag, that's another way you can filter. That's a joke tether ball. <laughs> He's swinging it around somebody. Hit it and break a hand. There's that. There's some more wax there. Hadn't been cleaned all the way. And I just scoop trash, strain it a little at a time, and, and it comes clean. It's a process, and sometimes you got to melt it more than once. But and this is a pile of garbage right here. But if you melted this down, you could still get wax this yellow out of that. So it's never too nasty. Let's see if I can flip this up and show you. See all that crud? Um, once this cools a little more and the rest of this wax solidifies, you don't want it hard all the way, but if you take this out and flip it over, you can take a flat scraper and just run across the bottom of this thing and everything will still be soft and you can knock all the garbage off of it and it'll come out clean wax just like that. So as with anything else, there's a lot more ways you can do this, but this is just the way we do it. Oh, here's some more. This uh, this block of wax needs to be run again. It's, it's been sitting out for a long time. I can tell by the color of it and what's on it. If you try to take this off right now, you'd have to use a chisel or something. It's not... Uh, rock hard but it, it's hard to separate from the wax but if you dip this whole thing in there again and warm it up you just take a flat blade and just and it'll peel right off like it ain't nothing Live it up, live it up, live it up, live it up.